Hey everybody. Uh, I set up a little patch here to show you uh, how the ByteWise operator works with the sequencer. So the sequencer we're using is the automated sequencer. It's being clocked by this LFO over here. Uh, we're using the voltage output, which is going to a VCO that's off screen. Uh, the uh, VCO is going to a VCA, and the VCA is being controlled by an AR generator that's being controlled by the trigger output of the sequencer. Uh, over here we have the end of sequence trigger, and that is going to the update Y on the uh, ByteWise operator. So it's only going to read this knob at the end of every sequence. So let's go ahead and turn up, turn this up so you can hear it. And right now we're in XOR mode. So I'm just going to turn this knob and it should get a different set of voltages. And then you can go back to the original. So it's a way of uh, making these really big changes to a sequence and then being able to go back to the original, uh, I think is a really cool, powerful thing that it does. Uh, so let me show you what it sounds like with AND mode here. So it's just gonna be zero volts when we're at the bottom. So you can hear it's kind of barely anything changing. And then if you have full tilt, then it should be the original sequence again. And then let's switch to math. So let's go back to XOR, and then I'm going to bring in these uh, things that are being triggered by the expander. So first I'm going to bring in another voice that this is going off to a another AR generator that's also uh, controlling a VCA, uh, with a VCO going into it that's also being controlled by our 1 volt per octave output from uh, this. Now I'm going to bring in my FM drum. And then finally this uh, hi-hat sound. I got lost there in the sequencing. Uh, thanks for watching this. <laughs>